for purposes of demoing how you set up a, a project on the Revit TV Drawing Manager for the first time. The most important thing to do for starters is to come into the Project Settings tab and on the Edit tab set the project status. I'm going to choose Conceptual Design. While you're here you might as well enter your appropriate job number give yourself uh, a project name or a title the next thing to do is to go into the configuration panel and configure the numbering format the number here is the built-in Revit number uh, and you can specify whether you want leading um, zeros in front of the number or not depending on your file uh, numbering format or CAD standard. You can also specify the date format here and what kind of separator you would like whether it's a forward slash backslash hyphen dot or bar. I'm going to choose a leading zero of one digit. The River TV Drawing Manager also allows you to have five custom prefixes and two custom suffixes. The prefixes, each one uh, can be enabled. The description can be changed, so say a drawing package or, or work stage. It could be a, a building zone or it could be discipline. You can specify the, the length of the um, prefix itself. I'm going to choose two and I'm going to put in a, a dot delimiter between the drawing package and the number. And this is applicable for the suffix as well and each of the, the prefixes. So you can build up quite complicated file naming numbering systems. Um, each of the, the fields apart from the number can be uh, either a number or alphanumeric. Under the parameters tab, this is where you, the built-in parameters of the drawing manager are synchronized with parameters in the shared parameter file. If you're not using a shared parameter file, uh, the drawing manager will set a built-in shared parameters file on installation as the default. If you're using a shared parameter file, Currently, you'll see it um, down here under current shared parameter file. The easiest way to map these shared parameters is to put in a prefix in front of the built-in ones. You don't have to include a prefix, but it just allows you to, to name all the shared parameters to suit your company standards. Or you can custom map each individual one to say an existing parameter already in your title blocks. The important thing to note though is the parameter ID will get replaced when the parameters have been updated so you still will need to go through and remap the parameters uh, to the labels within your uh, title block families. To publish the parameters into uh, Revit projects and into the shared parameter file, simply click the update SBF button here. Uh, SBF is short for shared parameter file. And what that does is automatically publish all those parameters in one file swoop into the Revit project file. It saves you having to load each parameter manually um, and assign it to the correct categories from the shared parameter file one at a time. Next thing we'll look at is setting up a title block. The drawing manager already has a title block built in um, that's installed in as part of the installation and you can find that in the installation directory of the drawing manager. We just edit that to check its properties. Here's the name, it's an A1 landscape format and there's the family um, name and then the family type name. There's two types of uh, revision schedule notes that you can have within the drawing manager. The, the symbol is a family and the family parameters uh, can be mapped here so you can map to the labels that are included inside that family. There's a template family for a revision schedule included in the installation directory on installation. 
The other format is a simple text note, and these text notes uh, have two types of formatting, uh, revision, date, initial, amendment, all in one linear line, or revision, date, initial, with the amendment on the line below. The position of the revision is fixed, the revision always comes first, but the width of that column is variable, and you enter the width here in either millimeters or imperial inches. The order of the other fields is customizable and flexible to suit your individual CAD standards, and again, the, the column widths are available to, for customization. The text size, uh, you need to specify a text size for the um, text note. I'm going to choose 2mm. And if you're doing half size drawings, there's a lot of people do half size drawings these days to save on costs of printing. Now you can specify a half size um, text as well. I'm not going to use one at this stage. The revision schedules can be horizontal or vertical and they can order up the page or down the page order up the page and you can specify the maximum number of revisions you would like to display on a sheet um, 10 12 5 the revision gap the this is the gap between each uh, revision schedule note or amendment Display only the current project status. That'll limit the revisions on the title block to those applicable to the current project status. Uh, that's why it's important and why the project status must be set under the Edit uh, tab. The origin here is the start point of the first uh, revision amendment note, and then the the gap here and the vertical style method. Um, Will take over. Maximum character length for the revision is going to be 2 for this one. The initial revision I'm going to set for A, but this could be uh, numeric. You could set that to 1. I'm going to pad the numeric revision, so that'll pad it with a 0, so the the 1s will go 0, 1, um, and so forth. And there's also the ability here to set your own view scales here. Uh, this, this is something that we brought in with the 2010 version of the Drawing Manager um, that we can now display multiple view scales. So when you have multiple views on a Revit title block, the, the built-in scale parameter will show as indicated. If you're using the Drawing Manager, it will actually calculate all the scales and present them on the title block for all the views on your title sheet say 1 to 50, 1 to 100, and so on and so forth. You can also um, use a, a scale override here, so the text could be um, as indicated, as shown on, as shown, and so forth. And that's pretty much all you need to do to configure the, the title blocks. I won't look at all the other um, tabs just yet. I'll come back and do them in, a, in another demonstration, but okay. If we just simply go back to the Home tab now, we can create a new drawing sheet. Zero, 00 for drawing package zero, 00. The sheet name is, this is the uh, parameter or the where the label will appear in the project browser. Uh, I'm going to say ground floor Plan. But the sheet title is a, is a built-in uh, drawing manager parameter and can be separately mapped to your title blocks and it can be extended to include um, West Wing Zone 12. Um, this allows you to keep your project browser without having the very long descriptions on there if need be. Um, typically a file would be already split up into its zoning, um, so the ground floor plan would be the ground floor plan. Click OK. So to push this drawing now into Revit, it's simply click on the sync button, and there we go.